Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian, if you're new to my channel. I do all kinds of videos on beauty, fashion, hauls, lifestyle, doggy stuff. They're in here with me today. Um, vacation vlogs, all kinds of things. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And also because I will be announcing a giveaway probably within the next couple of weeks because I did hit a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited and thankful for all of you. So be ready and be a subscriber so you do not miss out on that. Also, I know this video is a few days late. I always upload every weekend and this one's gonna be a few days late because we did take a little vacation. If you have to regularly scheduled programming um, coming next week so you should still be seeing a video every weekend or at least once a week I that is my goal and I've been sticking to it pretty well so uh, my apologies for that but I'm only a couple days late even with a vacay in the middle did obviously if you clicked on my video you might be a little bit interested in what this video is about which is the Dahlia no show suck Dahlia was kind enough to reach out to me to send me four pairs of their no-show socks so that I could try them out and then offer up my honest opinion and do a review. So I um, agreed to do that and I have four no-show socks here to show you guys. Here they are. So they sent me these probably about a month ago and I have been testing them out. It's funny because when I first got them, I'll be honest, I was like, they look a little bit old ladyish, but nobody sees them. So who cares what they look like? Um, and so the only ones I'll start out with, I shouldn't start out with the negative stuff, but I'm going to. Um, the only ones that I didn't love were these lace ones. Not that they didn't do the job, not that they didn't stay on. Um, it's just that the lace did peek through just a tiny little bit. Um, and I'll insert some pictures of me wearing the um, no-show socks so you can see what they look like. But these are the only ones that I was kind of like, okay, I could pass on these. But you guys, <laughs> I wore this middle pair, and I will insert a photo, uh, to do our hike that we do. It's not really a hike, but it's a it's a very long walk. It's over four miles. Um, we do, it's in our neighborhood, and it's basically around a lake. Um, so we do that walk, and I put these on thinking, and I brought an extra pair with me <laughs> of normal athletic socks, because I was like, there's no way these socks are going to hold up on a over four mile walk and there's no way they're going to stay on with an athletic shoe. There's no way that the heel is going to stay on. It's going to end up, you know, right down by my toes because I've had this happen so many times with no show socks. And you guys, these things stayed on for over four miles. I got home, took my shoe off and they still didn't come off. Um, so I was, and I was walking with my husband the whole time and I was like, I can't believe these socks are staying on. I can't believe these socks are staying on. So I'm a believer in these socks. Um, you know, again, the color, it's not great, but who's going to see it? Who cares? Um, I'm going to read you their little blurb on their technology with these socks. And they've been doing, um, trials on these for, I guess, six months. Um, Dahlia actually developed the socks themselves and they've been trying them out and trying to perfect them. And I'm not saying they're gonna work for everybody, I don't know, but the fact that they stayed on with an athletic shoe for four miles for me is huge because usually socks are always creeping down. I have to pull up the heel, especially with a no-show sock. Um, and it's kind of cool because I really don't like the, sh the sock to show even when I'm wearing a tennis shoe. So that was the secret for achieving a no-show and non-slip sock is its three-dimensional and form-fitting design, which means the socks tightly follows the contour of the foot to enable the socks to stay on while staying ultra low. This design results in the socks with a molded and shoe-like shape that wraps and hugs your feet instead of other brands who, relying only, who are relying only on stretchy material, which can leave your uncomfortable which can leave an uncomfortable deep impression on your feet. The extra silicone patches on either the Achilles or on inner rim adds a second layer of protection from slippage and the silicone on the sole prevents your feet from sliding into the shoes. Lightweight cotton is used for the sock bottoms to absorb sweat without adding heat and the high quality silicone enhances its durability while keeping its shape after the wash. So, like I said, I walked over four miles and <laughs> The material is like a cotton knit. It did not get sweaty, wet, and it's hot out. <laughs> it's 80 degrees, so I was sweating. And these stayed on, they didn't slip and slide. I'm really impressed. So as you can see, 
I'll take them out of the little container here. This thing is kind of shot. I've been putting them on and off here. So here is what they have on the heel. And I've I've seen that before on other no-show socks and it doesn't work for me, but the way they have it set up and the fact that they've done the sewing here like it were to be a shoe, maybe that's what's helping. I don't know. I'm not a sock specialist, <laughs> but that's what that looks like and that's there's like a just a little patch here of silicone. Can barely feel it. And I'm one that gets very like uncomfortable if something just doesn't fit exactly right. I'm like, oh, I want to rip it off. I didn't have that issue at all with these. They were very comfortable for me. Um, and then on the bottom, and forgive me, but these have been worn, so they might have a little bit of dog hair on them. Um, the bottom have these little, um, again, silicone little flowers so that you don't slip and slide. So yeah, I was able to walk on our wood floors, on our tile, um, just with them bare feet, and it was fine. They, they stayed on. Again, they're not the most attractive thing in the world. I'm not saying that they are, but nobody sees them. So these are more of a um, silky, like rayon. And they feel just as comfortable, really nice. I wore these all day with my ballet flats, loved them. I haven't worn these with my athletic shoe. Um, I decided to do the ones that are not as, not the rayon ones, the knit ones, the cotton ones with my athletic shoe, because I think that would have worked better, but. I don't know why this wouldn't have. I think it would have been fine. So overall, my um, impressions definitely give them a thumbs up. I think they did a really nice job with these. Um, I will have all the information listed below. I will have their website listed below. You guys can go check them out for yourselves. I'm not an affiliate with them. I do not get a penny for any of this. I am not doing a sponsored video. They are not paying me for this. They just sent me the socks for free to do an honest review. And they even said, you know what, let us know how you like them. You know, you're not forced to do a review or anything like that, which I would never be forced to do anything <laughs> on my channel. Um, so yeah, and I told them that, you know, hey, I like the sock a lot. I even told them I'm not a huge fan of the lace ones. And they're actually kind of cute. I didn't have a problem with the way they, these look, um, but the fact that I could see them a little bit through my ballet slipper or my, ba my ballet shoe, um, that's the only reason why I'm gonna say I didn't like these as much, but I think that they'd probably be fine with maybe a little bit higher shoe, and it's with, I wore them with a loafer, my ballet shoe, and then my athletic shoe. So, all worked really, really well, stayed on. The ballet shoe I wore to work all day, and they kept the ballet shoes a little tight to begin with, so they did feel a little bit more snug, but that's my own issue with my shoe. Um, the sock didn't move at all, so really thrilled and then you couldn't see those over um, the sides of the ballet or in the front because they are very high cut up here. I mean, my you could probably see some toe cleavage even. These are very, very high cut. So if you like your top half of the foot to be covered, you're not gonna get that with this no-show sock. These are very open. They just basically line the whole bottom of your foot and then just a little bit over the top of your toes. So, but they do keep them very snug very secure and I think they do a really nice job. Um, but I will have them linked below. They did offer me a coupon code for you guys, so I will also have that linked down below. Um, so if you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and do that. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment down below. I am still trying to get to every comment and answer your questions as much as possible. So don't forget to leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful. And also don't forget to subscribe. Giveaway is coming. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.